Good morning, YouTube. So I'm here to talk again. This is my third video on Cipro and the uh, floor quinlan toxicity. So I'm right now at six months since I was floxed. And uh, since then, I've had a procedure. I've had some success and some things that I've been doing, I thought I would share it. I wasn't really prepared to make this video. Normally, I spend some time doing a research. I got a whole page set up on the side of me so I can, you know, I don't get lost in my thoughts and rambling. Um, and I'm, I'm unprepared this morning. I, I, I haven't been up very long. I haven't even finished my cup of coffee. Um, it's still dark out. I'm up here in Alaska. And I wake up and my wife is reading a, um, an article posted today from The Sun where a guy, a young guy, uh, 26 in England, just had his life destroyed from Cipro. And it just, it breaks my heart. Um, and I'm just so tired of seeing this. And um, I've talked to all these doctors. I've talked to the chief of staff of my hospital. I've talked to caseworkers, social workers, case managers, um, the nurses there, my doctor. Nobody gives a shit. This if you're in this, you fall into the acceptable rate of disability. And they, as medical practitioners, just know that there's a certain amount of people that are going to get hurt. And they, it's not that they don't care. It's just part of the job. It's acceptable. And it's unfortunate being the acceptable loss. Because it's hard to, uh, nobody wants to pay attention to the waving, screaming arm saying, hey, we're messing people's lives up. I've talked to my senator's office, my governor's office, I've talked to my state representative's, representative's office, I've followed or I filed um, joint commission complaints, I've filed congressional inquiries. Nothing's being done. Nobody really cares. Um, it's unfortunate. So we have to educate each other. Um, we have to educate our doctors. And the way to do that is by sharing information and what works and what doesn't work. So I'll tell you some things that I've discovered on my own. I'll tell you some of the successes that I've had. I'm going to run you through my procedure real quick. So I went down, I was uh, floxed on August 30th, uh, 31st, I think, actually. And uh, by October 1st, I was down um, seeing um, Dr. Ron Hansen for um, OrthoCare Regenerative Masters out of Minneapolis. And um, great help. There's limited ability of that system to provide immediate help. But overall, it was an enormous success. And I want to tell you about what happened down there so you can know what to expect. So some of the procedures that were in there, I opted out of, which they didn't have any problem. But what they have is this care package type of um, setup. So you get down there and you get a comprehensive evaluation. You see a couple different chiropractors. Um, one of them does a full body digital motion x-ray, um, which is crazy. It's like watching your your body real time and they, they do a lot of range of motion. Um, they really take a look at your connective tissue. My spine was shaped like a question mark. I was all hunched over from just the collagen being zapped out of my body. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But um, they had a nutritionist and my nutrition was already peak. Um, you know, I've, I've been into health and fitness and nutrition my whole life. I was a big weightlifter. You know, average weight was 210, 220. Um, I got zapped down to about 150 pounds. And uh, I had all these previous traumas and injuries from being in the, the army for 24 years. And uh, I mean, bad. I had been hit by a truck when I was out running. I had uh, had a, a parachute malfunction. I broke both my legs and my hip. And, and that's just a couple of about 10 different really traumatic injuries. But one of the things I found was when I was researching this, it looked like everybody's um, expression from being floxed looked a little bit different. And... What Dr. Hansen was kind of able to describe was that everybody's expression is going to look different because a lot of it's based on your personal trauma. And I had a lot of calcification in my neck and legs and, and spine from previous injuries. Well, apparently Cipro gets sequestered, gets trapped in those areas, and then it just cannibalizes not only your connective tissue, but also your calcification issues. So where you've had... Um, protective calcification built up around injuries, it goes in and zaps that out. And now you're left with hypermobility and, of course, the raw nerves that are associated. But I'll, I'll come back to the nerve side in a minute. So after they do a comprehensive look um, inside your body and they do a lot of range of motion tests and, and just um, a good evaluation of you, they, they start this um, procedure. 
um, which is where they pull bone marrow, they put it in a centrifuge, um, which I think is called plasma rate or plasma rich platelets, and then they re inject that to you. I think I had over a hundred injections down my spine, shoulders, sternum, collarbones, and it sucked. It was painful. Um, I did it, I opted to do it without painkiller because I don't trust drugs anymore. Um, I wouldn't recommend going without the painkiller, it was rough. Um, I almost, uh, I almost had to stop halfway through the procedure because it lasts a couple hours of just injections and, and areas that you're enormously sensitive. Um, but, uh, I was able to, to gut through it and, and get out of there and I'm glad that I did, but I was, I was rough for a couple days. And, um, then you, uh, you start this long, slow healing process. So one of the things that I, I, I learned about ortho 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 cure is he's one of the few doctors that actually cares he listens he still texts me like i just got a text from him friday um today saturday morning um where he texted me and asked me how i'm doing um, i'm not paying him anymore i haven't paid him in a long time he just out of his own personal interest and care will text me probably once a month to see how i'm doing what progress i've made what setbacks i've had and i've had a couple regressions but it didn't have anything to do with his um, it was mostly due to my diet. When I got frustrated, had a cookie, um, had French fries, had a bite of pizza, those were almost all followed by regressions. Um, the way your body reacts to these carbs and sugars isn't good. So maintaining a good balance is important in your diet. So here's the other thing. Your, your collagen producing factor factory gets shut off. When that happens, you've got about six months before it even starts to turn back on. So in that time, you have got to be supplementing your diet with foods that are rich in collagen, beef, chicken, eggs, whatever. Um, find it, whatever works for you, and stick with that diet. Keep refined sugars and refined um, wheats and grains out of your diet. I have found that there is an almost immediate reaction. Um, it increases nerve pain, joint inflammation, all the shit you don't want, it makes worse. So one of the other things that I've um, found is when I was down there, we were going through a procedure called muscle activation therapy. And muscle activation therapy is these um, really gifted uh, physical therapists will I mean, they're almost intuitive, but what they do is they'll find your pain areas and they will try to reestablish through, you know, palpitation and manipulation, reestablish a brain nerve muscle connection. So what happens is this medicine zaps your nervous system, right? We all know that. That's why we are, we're, we're in so much pain, but that causes the, just like a nerve agent in warfare, it destroys the nervous or the brain muscle nerve connection. So because you no longer have a connection to your brain, you can't use those muscles. Well, what happens? Your body cannibalizes that right away, which is why you get so lean and skinny. So reestablishing the nerve brain connection is important. <laughs> so one of the things that um, I'm having some success with recently is a TENS machine. This is where you hook the electrodes up to your muscle, zap, zap, zap. It'll force your muscles to start working, right? It's like, it's like pushing a car down a hill to jumpstart it. You're forcing from the muscle to reconnect to your brain instead of asking your brain to reestablish the connection. That's not going to happen. It's been destroyed. So forcing the muscle to work with these electrodes gets your muscle working again, which causes this um, reestablishes that connection. As soon as that happens, then you have muscular stability. Right away, a lot of the pain that I had starts to go away. Now, I'm still learning how to walk again. Um, there's a lot of functionality that's not quite there. Um, my upper body's responded very well. Um, I think that's because I was crawling for uh, the first four and a half months of this. I couldn't walk at all. I couldn't stand up at all. So it was low crawling, looking like a zombie, getting along, but it forced me to use my upper body, even as painful as it was. I mean, I had to get to the bathroom. I had to get to the kitchen. I just couldn't lay there all day. But me forcing that movement, I think, started my upper body on a path uh, to, of healing that my lower body hasn't yet benefited from. So I'm working my legs pretty hard now. I'm still only able to get about a thousand steps a day in. Everything hurts. Sitting on the couch hurts. Standing hurts. But I'm now able to differentiate between nerve pain, which is substantial, and the tendon pain, which is different. 
So what I mean by that is there's a real risk of injuring yourself when this happens because you're, you know, it's like nice, soft, supple, pliable leather that gets left out in the rain. And now it's very brittle and hard. And if you bend it all the way, you can crack it. Well, your, your tendons and ligaments are very much the same way right now. So you have to introduce to them your collagen. It takes six months before your collagen factory kicks back on. So in that meantime, there's this lag between actual ability um, and, and loss of function. Um, but maybe I'm not using the best word to describe this. I probably should have built this up a little bit better, but I think you all understand what I'm trying to say. Um, and as, as real function has started to return, I've really had to examine as I'm encountering this substantial pain, what's nerve pain and what is injury pain because I'm overtaxing the ligaments. Um, that, that's kind of a not fun process to discover, to figure out what's going on. But the, the more you um, take stock of those, and I even had a journal where I was keeping track of the pain. Some things I would do only hurt at that moment. Some things would linger for the rest of the day. Some things hurt for three to four days after. I'm still in that position right now with my physical therapy. If I work my legs at all, they hurt for three to four days. But... Um, I'm, I'm still able to get more out of my, my legs now. I'm able to get down to almost 90 degrees in a sitting position, which I haven't been able to do in, in six to seven months. Um, and again, I attribute that to forcing the exercise safely so I don't re-injure myself, good diet, and now this TENS machine and the muscle activation therapy. So... Uh, I, I don't even know if I've touched on everything I want to touch on. I just, it was so tragic to get on there and see that story of that guy again this morning, uh, 26 years old, uh, life destroyed. He's begging his mom to kill him. You know, he's in UK. They have a different medical system over there and he thinks his life is destroyed and it is momentarily, but don't give up. Keep fighting. This is mind over matter in, in some ways. You know, once your body starts producing collagen again after the six month mark, everything should be downhill as far as your recovery or uphill um, for your recovery. Um, pay attention to the foods you eat. Pay attention to the foods you eat. When I'm eating high fat, high protein, I have no issues. Doesn't matter if it's meat or I'm sorry, pork, chicken, steak, it does or seafood, it does not matter. I have no bad reactions to that. As soon as I have anything with a lot of sugar or refined grain or, you know, high carb, I feel it almost immediately. Um, so do the right thing. Um, give yourself discipline, maintain it over yourself. Know that this is a, a very short term solution for a long term recovery. So, um, listen, I, if you're out there and you're going through this, I'm sorry. It's, it's terrible, but don't, there's a lot of tragic stories online that I see where people are still dealing with this 10, 12 years later. And, and I just think that those guys were the pioneers to go through this before there was a lot of information out there. Get a hold of Dr. Ron Hansen, OrthoCure Regenerative Masters, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The guy is a real doctor who's pioneered a lot of these practices. He really cares. They do a good job. He's got a good team of people down there that are just phenomenal. Um, and, and, re and remember that you're probably not going to get a lot of information that's meaningful out of your normal doctor. They just don't experience this enough. They don't, I don't think care. Maybe that's the wrong word, but they just don't care. They don't have time. They have to get on to the next patient. This is just an acceptable loss. So I spent the first couple months banging my head against the wall, being pissed off that nobody gave a shit. But people do give a shit. It's going to be us. It's going to be the community that shares this information and, and works together. So I hope this finds you well. Um, take care of yourself. Um, keep posting information for everybody. I've learned so much from you guys. I hope you're learning a little bit from me too. And take care of yourselves.